media to side B. Kind of like that position very, very because it puts them off stage below you so you can do things like that. And so you can definitely get down B into down B and to dash across up here. Things like that. Just a very, very good. What's up, gamers? So we're back with another Flash Party character guide. And as you can see on the screen, today is the character guide for the brand new character that just released, what, maybe about a week ago? Maybe two weeks ago now? Gwen. So we'll just hop right into it. And hopefully this character guide lets you know whether or not you want to buy her or whether or not you want to play her or whether or not you want to get her. And I really enjoy playing her. I think she's a really fun character. Might actually be my new main just because of the way she's designed. So let's just hop right into it so let's just hop in with her grounded a moves so gwen's grounded a moves are actually really good from her jab to her down tilt to her up tilt and to her fort strong so let's hop right into it gwen's jab is a three hit jab one two three as you can see one two three and this jab has a lot of range to it as you can see, she moves forward with the third hit. The first hit, let me see if I can get close enough. I'm trying not to get like dash really far. But as you can see, it has very, very good range, that first hit. And if the first hit hits, the second hit will hit. And she obviously moves forward for the third hit. So the third hit will also hit. A very good three hit jab because it puts the opponents in really bad positions. As you can see right there. And at higher percentages, this jab also is a kill jab. So let me see if I can build, uh, set the bot's percentage and show it off. So the bot set 121, edge of the stage. And as you can see right there, a very, very good jab. Really, really strong. As you can see right there, 121, you kind of like get a kill. That's if your opponent isn't DIing it or they're not ready for it. And it's a 15% uh, jab if you manage to hit all three hits. So that'll do it for her jab. Let's go into her down tilt or her down attack. Gwen's down tilt is basically a stab in the, a stab in the ground with the sword. The angle this knocks at is really good. As you can see from the red line there, it knocks like far horizontal. So it's very, very good because the thing about this move is it hits really, really low. Like the stab in the ground is a very low hit. Let me see if I can hit Sophia on recovery. Gwen is one of the few characters that can't, right there as you can see, Gwen is one of the few characters that can challenge characters like Sophia, because as you've seen in the Sophia guys, Sophia's uh, up special comes above the ledge, but Gwen's stab goes into the stage, as you can see, and it kind of like hits opponents before they manage to like grab the ledge. And you can do it from a pretty good distance. Like, you don't have to be exactly on the ledge. You just kind of be, like, right here. Right, right about here. And you can hit people that have to, like, recover low. You can just kind of hit them through the stage. And that's the one good thing about her down strong. You'll see me use it like that in a lot of matches or whatever. Like, characters, like, that kind of have to up B and come towards the stage like that. You just kind of, like, get to, like, down strong them. And if it hits, it knocks them back out, probably give you a kill because, like I say, the angle it knocks at it is really good. And if it doesn't hit, if it doesn't kill, it gives you a setup for a kill because since it knocks at a low angle, your opponent has to go a specific way for them to recover, as you can see right there. So that's one good thing about her down strong. It's also got some pretty good range on it, as you can see from, let me get into range. As you can see from there. It's got some pretty, pretty good range at higher percentages. It's got some pretty good knockback. So even like on the edge of the stage at higher percentages, you can get kills with it. Just all around a very, very good like kind of poke tool. So that'll do it for down strong. Let's go into her up strong or what I like to call her up tilt. So her up tilt, let me reset the bot, is actually really good because this up tilt is safe on shield it has very very big startup uh as you'll notice a lot of her moves have very big startup but since they have very big startup they have very little in lag and the thing about up strong is at lower percentages it combos as you can see right there so you can do things like up tilt into neutral air or you can do things like up tilt into up air and then at the medium percentages it stops comboing but the launch on it is still really, really crazy. 
and the fact that this move is safe on shield you can kind of run up to opponents up tilt and if they don't punish you for it, you could dash away and like throw out a forward strong or things like that so you can like dash in up tilt dash away forward strong kind of like that because her forward strong is like really really long so you could do things like forward air i mean back air and then forward strong and since up tilt is so safe you can run up to people who are shielding up tilt dash away and then forward strong another thing about up tilt is as you see the animation she turns around so it starts in front of her and goes behind her even though she turns around in the i guess you could say her model it starts behind her and ends in front of her as you can see right there and another thing about up tilt is at a lot of the higher percentages which you will see because gwen has very very like strict kill confirms so a lot of times your opponents will get to those higher percentages up tilt is actually a very very good kill move as you can see right there it kind of killed like around 120 then as you can see from the red line if your opponent doesn't di it, it kind of like sends straight into the blast zone a very very good move at lower percentages to combo with as you can see right there at mid percentages it kind of puts you in a good position like your opponents have to air dodge afterward and then like i showed at higher percentages you could just use it to get those ko's and like i say it's safe on shield so you could just kind of run at opponents and up tilt on their shield and bait out options so that'll do it for up tilt we've talked about down tilt we've talked about jab let's talk about her forward strong now gwen's forward strong is really really strong as you can see a very very strong uh two hit swing so if you play chili how chili's or strong is two hits wins is two hits but it's two hits automatically so you don't have to mash the button again after you swing it she will automatically swing twice now this move looks like it has a lot of end lag but as you can see she can move after swinging this move is actually really really safe and it has a lot of hit stun. It's very hard to punish this move. Like, you have to know this move is coming. And then also the range she gets on this move, as you, as you can see from here, that almost hits. It's probably like a platform away right there, as you can see. Like, this move has a lot of range, and it hits really, really hard. And then also the part where she slams it to the ground also hits really, really low below the, le below the ledge. So sometimes when opponents are recovering, you can actually forward strong them and hit their recovery on some, uh, some opponents that are like up specially into the ledge. Forward strong is really, really good. It's just the range that it has and the fact that it always connects into each other, as you can see here. Very, very good forward strong. Um, a lot of characters i don't recommend using their forest stones but when i definitely recommend it it's a very very good move can also net you some pretty good kills and then since you can throw it out from such a long distance your opponent has to know it's coming in order to punish it so even like on moments like this you could dash forward dash way back and then forward strong you don't even have to dash the distance to hit the first hit you could just dash to hit the second hit or you could dash to hit the first hit so that's like another good mix up for it and like I say, you can end before the full animation of the four strong ends. Because this is the full animation. And she kind of pulls the sword back. You can end before that animation happens. As you can see right there. So you don't have to wait for the animation to fully end. Very, very good move. Very strong. Very scary. As you can see, the launch on it is really, really crazy. Just a very, very good four strong four character to like Gwen to have. Considering the fact she's a powerhouse. So I think that'll do it for her grounded A moves. Oh, wait, can't forget about dash attack. I always seem to forget about dash attack. Gwen's dash attack is really, really good. Like a lot of her other moves, it has a lot of range. As you can see, it's a four, four double swing. So two hits. The, four, the second hit has all the launch, and the second hit combos into the four hit. Just a lot of launch. You can throw this out from a distance. You don't have to necessarily be ridiculously close to your opponents. You can throw it out before you get to them so you can hit with the last hit. Or you can wait till you get up on them and hit with both hits. So it's kind of like a mix-up because if you throw it out before you get to the last hit, your opponent has to be ready to punish that last hit. But it's less safe if you throw it out while running up on them. Very, very good move just to push your opponents off stage. Because one thing Gwen excels when her opponents are off stage because her recovery and edge guarding potential is so good. She can just kind of jump out and edge guard people for free and up B and make it, well, up special and make it back. 
Gwen's dash attack is very, very good for closing that range too. It's a very, very good burst attack. Because as you can see, her initial dash, Gwen isn't the fastest, as you can see here. But her initial dash is really, really fast. Really crazy. A lot faster than just full-on dashing, as you can see. So in moments, you can just do like initial dash into jab or initial dash into dash attack. Very, very good burst options from Gwen. She's a very fast grounded character, even though she has a very slow dash speed like this. Very, very good for her to have. So we've talked about her grounded A moves. Let's go into her specials. Now, Gwen's specials are actually really, really good. Um, Some of my favorite in the game, and a lot of people will see uh, me use neutral B a lot. Down B is just an amazing move. It's just really cool. Up special hits really, really hard. And side special is absolutely crazy when it comes to like damage and like KO potential. So let's just hop right into it. Let's start off with her neutral special. So Gwen's neutral special, she summons down basically like a gravity meteor, as you can see right there. It has a specific distance, so the distance doesn't change whether you're close to your opponent or whether you're far away from your opponent. So you kind of have to remember this distance and throw it out there. The thing about Meteor is, as you can see, she can move before Meteor even comes down and lands. So you can do things like, oops, then dash. Call out Meteor, dash into like forward air, or you could do things like call out Meteor, dash into back air. Things like that. I've even seen some people do like call out Meteor, dash into side B, like that at lower percentages. So Meteor is actually a very, very good move, especially when you know you're going to hit it. And it just sets up for like really, really good positions. Um, sometimes I've even been hit with like uh, call out Meteor into dash up special. It's just very, very good. Um, and so at those lower percentages, you get those combos. At the higher percentages, it just knocks off for a really good setup. You can even call it off stage when the opponents are trying to recover for like an edge guard. So you can like jump, call out Meteor, and then cover with forward air. Just do things like that. Like that edge guard setup is so good because if your opponents wait, they get hit by Meteor. If they jump in, they get hit by forward air. It's just a very, very good move for a character like Gwen to have. So like now that the bots at lower percentages, I can show off like Meteor into forward air, or you can do things like, but Meteor is just a very, very good move to use all around. Another thing about Meteor is you can jump while doing this. As you can see right there, you can jump and call out Meteor. And the reason why this is really good is because immediately when Meteor hits the ground, you can call out another Meteor. So calling it out from here makes it go down to the ground and it makes it hit the ground faster. But you could jump, call out Meteor, and double jump. So you could basically double jump with the hitbox in front of you. So you could do things like call out Meteor, double jump into forward air, like that. Or you could do things like call out Meteor, double jump into side B, like that. Like, just being able to jump and call out Meteor is so good. Because it, it kind of gives you that coverage you need when you're going in. Your opponents have to go through it. You don't have to dash forward when you call out Meteor like this. You can actually call out Meteor, jump back, and then jump forward to, like, see your opponent's response to you calling out Meteor. Because if they run under Meteor, then they have to get through the aerial that you're going to throw out next. Or you can even, like, just call out Meteor and, like, empty land and not throw out an aerial at all. Being able to jump after calling out Meteor is just very, very good. Yeah, because it basically allows those combos that you get with Meteor to come easier. As you can see with the jump Meteor to forward air, jump Meteor to side B. Kind of like that. Very, very cool character. Like I say, Gwen's a very cool character with some pretty, pretty good setups. And being able to call out Meteor while opponents are off stage is also a very, very good thing, as you can see right there, because it just kind of hits, knocks into that bad position, and gives you that edge guard setup that Gwen very, very likes. So, we talked about Neutra B. Let's talk about Side B. Gwen Side B is a dash and a big swing with her sword. This dash swing hits really hard, as you can see, 17%. It's really really strong it hits high it also has a weaker hitbox that hits behind her i don't know if i'll be able to show it here yeah it's going to be really hard for me to show it but it has a weaker hitbox where if you see she swings the sword backwards that's also a hitbox and it knocks opponents backwards kind of like messes up the di di of the opponent but it's a very very strong swing just hits really hard gets kills 
really, really early. Hey, so like does it get killed? Does it get kills really early? It actually does because it knocks upwards into the corner. So at like 80%, she has confirms into her side B that kind of give her really, really early kills. So let me build up the bot to like, maybe I want to say about 80, maybe 80, 60 might be calling it a little bit too early. So we're at 73. So she has confirms like down B into side B. And since it knocks upwards into the corner, it kills a lot earlier than on like a lot of her other moves. So yes, side B is very, very strong. Very, very good move. It also doesn't lose any of its power in the air. As you can see, it still hits just as hard in the sky. Being able to do things like that is really, really crazy. And yes, you can also, am I gonna make it back? Yep, you can also side B off the stage. You can do it multiple times. And you can go really low with Gwen because Gwen's recovery is actually really good. So you can kind of use side B as a way to get closer to the ledge so that you can recover or put yourself in a better position to recover from because her, her recovery is really good. As you can see there, as I come from like pretty low. And you'll also see it more when I talk about it. But side B is just a very, very good move for like netting out some early kills when you like land it into setups. Kind of like when you land Meteor into side B like that. Or if you land like command grab, which is down B into, into that side B, you'll get some like some more early kills. Just a very, very good move to get early kills and hit really hard. And the fact that she has confirms into it, make it a lot easier. So you're not really just throwing out willy nilly. Another thing about the side B is when you side B opponents while they're shielding, it pushes them back really, really far has a lot of hit stun. It's a really hard move to punish on shield. So this move, even though it looks slow and looks really punishable, in neutral when your opponents are scared to move, you don't lose much from throwing this move out because it hits opponent shields, knocks them back. If it doesn't hit, them, hit their shield and knock them back, it knocks them off stage and probably sets them up for a really, really good KO situation. And then also using this move in confirms gets you some really early KOs and gets you gets you some really high damage. Just a very, very good move to use all around all together. And yeah, I know people are like, oh, well, that's Byleth's side B. This side B, in my opinion, is a lot more better than Byleth's. <laughs> so let's talk about her down special. Her down special is the favorite of a lot of people's. As you can see, her down special is a command grab. She grabs you, picks you up, and throws you down with a meteor. Meteor. So this is really good because you can combo from this, as you can see right there. So you can do things like down special into neutral air. You can do things like down special into dash forward air. You can do things like down special into up air for like kill confirms. Very, very good setup move because that gives her a combo and throw four. And it also, and then that coupled together with the fact that she has a combo and throw backwards. Just a very, very good thing for a character to have in general. I won't even say a character like Gwen, but for a, char a character to have in general. And you can also do this command grab in the sky. So, as you can see right there. Now, the thing about the command grab is if you command grab with somebody, you see Gwen kind of like floats for a moment. You can jump before she hits the ground. As you can see right there, she ba I basically double jump because the command grab leaves you aerial. So you could double jump after doing it to get some really, really neat confirms. Well, that was not true. That was supposed to be a forward air. But you could double jump after landing a command grab to get some pretty good confirms. So at lower percentages, you don't have to like double jump. You can actually just command grab land and then jump because this has a lot of hit stun as you can see from the combo counter a lot a lot of hit stun and when you're trying to get those confirms like those kill percentages then you can use the jump out of the command grab to go for moves like basically double jump back side b or double jump back forward air. as you or double jump forward forward air. i said double jump back but double jump forward forward air. So the thing with side B, I'm going to explain the confirms because one thing a lot of people tell me is they have a hard time hitting the side B after they land the down. So the thing about that is since you can control Gwen's jump 
after landing the down B, you can actually down B opponents and jump backwards, as you can see right there. So in order to hit the side B since she dashes forward, hey, there's the weak hitbox I was telling you about. <laughs> in order to hit the side B since she dashes forward, you have to down B, jump back, then dash forward. Like that. So as I know it's a uh, really kind of like technical thing when you think about it, but that's the easiest way to hit the side B out of Meteor is to basically land that, land the command grab, and after you hit the command grab, jump back, and then side B. It makes it easier because it covers both uh, DI in and DI out. So it's a really, really good setup for those early kills. Now, at the higher percentages, when side B doesn't combo anymore, I want to say maybe like around 100 side B will stop comboing. Yeah. So like around these percentages, you want to go for down B, it's a double jump up air, as you can see right there. So a lot of people are like, well, my up air doesn't hit. And that's because a lot of people do things like down B, land, and then go for the up air at higher percentages, which makes it harder for them to get that up air. The easiest way to get it is to basically just down B, jump forward, and then up air. So this is down B. And as you can see, the jump forward right there, the down B, jump forward, up air and the down b just pops up into the up air just immediately jump for in up air is just that's something i definitely recommend learning how to do because those are your two easiest kill confirms when it comes to gwen just the down b into up air and the down b into side b for earlier kill confirms and other than that you'll just be using down b to basically like combo at lower percentages like down b into neutral air into like other extensions or down b it's a oops i grabbed a little bit too early down b it's a down b it's a dash forward forward air like that as you can see like all that's a true combo because the combo count is 23 just just very very good for her to have and for her to use another thing you have to worry about is the combo you saw earlier which was me doing down b into down b so let me show it off down b into down b that only works on opponents who di the down b in so if your opponents aren't sure which way to di the down b like they're not holding backwards but they're holding in you can definitely get down b into down b into dash across up air things like that just a very very good setup uh landing the down b in the air lets you combo with it a lot easier because it gives you more time as you see the meteor goes all the way down to the ground and then explodes so you can get things like down b into down b oh my gosh she fell out <laughs> but down b into down b it's a jump side b like that and as you see the combo count said 18 so that's all a true combo and it only happens if your opponent di's the down b inwards just a very good thing to remember and to keep in mind if your opponent is DIing in or if you're looking for like a cheeky kill confirm at 40, you just hit the down B and assume they're going to DI in and go like that. Very, very good setup. Like I said, the down B is a very, very good move for her to have. And just to show it off, if there's no ground for the media to explode on, it just drags the opponents off stage as you can see right there and it sets up for a really really bad position because it puts them off stage below you so you can do things like that so down b's like landing a down b is very very good it's very good for gwen to have because gwen can throw out a lot of aerials that kind of force opponents to shield so you can even do things like jump double jump down b and then combo from that because your opponents are afraid of you landing on their button, landing on their shield with a button because you've been jumping around and doing it so much. You just kind of like land, like kind of fall with command grab and you basically get like a kill confirm or you get like damage. It's just a very, very good thing for a sword character to have a command grab like this. Very, very crazy. I'm actually surprised they gave her something like this. As you can see. So we've talked about down B, and I know it was a lot because down B, is, down B is very, very important to her kit. You have to know when to get these and know when your opponent is shielding and when to throw these off because you can get early kills and really big damage from landing down B. Uh, being able to play Gwen is really going to go around the fact that you know how to space your aerials and force your opponent into shield, kind of like when you play Sophia, and punish them for shielding with down B. 
So now that we've talked about down B, neutral B, and side B, let's talk about her up B or her up special. So her up special, Sophia hops on the sword and rides it up. As you can see, it does 16 damage, has pretty good knockback, goes straight up. You can also influence your angle you fly after hitting it, so you can fly up and float forward. You can also fly up and float back, as you can see. Another good thing about this is it has really, really good launch. As you can see right there, it's just a very, very good edge guarding tool. And as I shown before, she can go really low and come up really high with this move. So that means she can like go off stage and edge guard opponents that are in really bad situations with her up special and just kind of knock them in the opposite direction because you can up be like you can reverse the up B. You can wait out for so long and you can do things like that. Very, very good for like I say, very good tool for a character like her to have. And the fact that it comes up from like so far away is very good for her. As you can see, it knocks into the death boss. Very, very good. Also, it has a lot of hit stun. So a lot of times you'll see because it starts from under her. So a lot of times you'll you'll have opponents like get hit by that one hit right there. And that one hit has a lot of hit stun and the opponents will sometimes just fall out and like kind of fall to the death. If anybody plays Super Smash Brothers, uh, for Wii U, it's kind of similar to Luigi's Toilet Bowl effect, where you would just kind of like get tapped and fall out. Another thing to note is this up special has a lot of in lag. As you can see right there, it took me a while to move after landing on the stage. Yes, so you kind of want to sweet spot this when going to the ledge, because if you go past the ledge and you don't sweet spot it, like if you do it too early, she will fly past the ledge and you'll be stuck in that in lag and you can get hard punished. That's why doing it on stage and hitting opponents with it isn't good. Because if if you hit an opponent at lower percentages, they can actually land before you can and punish you for hitting them with side B. But another good thing about side B is that how I showed you in, with down special, you can actually combo into it from down special. So you can do things like that for like a free 33 damage and at higher percentages it even leads to a kill because up special doesn't kill as early as side special, but it does kill. As Sophia falls out of my up special as I'm trying to show you that it kills. <laughs> Let's try that again. Right there. Uh, with better DI, she probably would have lived it because up special doesn't really kill from center stage until like 150. On the edge of the stage is where it like kills at the earliest. But all in all, it is another kill move that Gwen has on top of a lot of other things. So that'll do it for all of her specials. Like I say, her specials are really good for her as a character, as a sword character at that because she is still a sword character. And as a comboing sword character at that in a powerhouse. So she gets stronger the longer the match goes on and the more damage she takes. Just a very, very good character all around. So let's talk about her aerials. So you're saying, well, Johnny Gwen has this amazing ground game. Her aerials can't be that good. And I'm here to tell you, Gwen is a DLC character and her aerials are absolutely amazing. So let's just hop right into it. So her neutral special... It's like a full body electric pulse, as you can see here. It actually ends pretty fast. So if you want to hit opponents with it, you have to jump, use it. You have to jump at the peak of your jump when you start falling, then neutral special, as you can see right there. And this neutral special also combos. So, you can, so at lower percentages, you can do things like neutral air into back air. You can do things like there it is, neutral air into back air. You can hit neutral air and do things like neutral air into forward air. You can catch someone on a jump in the sky and do things like neutral air into up air. Or you can do things like falling neutral air into forward air. Just falling neutral air is very, very good. And if you'll catch Eric and if you catch aerial opponents with it, you kind of get more of a combo from it because it barely knocks away at lower percentages. And at higher percentages, it's just a very, very good get off me tool. It's a very good tool to like catch your opponents when they're jumping in. Because the combos that you get from it are very, very good. 
And another thing about it is the neutral air, the way it launches is true to its animation. So if your opponent is in front of you, by the time it ends, they'll get knocked forward, as you can see right there. And if they're behind you by the time it ends, I didn't get all the hits. I'm not getting all the hits. If they're behind you, they'll get knocked backwards, as you can see right there. So it's very true to the way it hits. You have to pay attention because it's not a very long lasting neutral area. It ends very quick. But if your opponent is in front of you once you start, you want to combo with forward air. And if the behind you once you start the neutral air, you combo with back air. That's really just about it for neutral air. Like I say, very good at intercepting jumps if your opponent is in the sky. Because if you hit somebody in the sky with this, you kind of get those easier confirmed follow-ups. As you can see right there, just a very, very good move for her to have. So let's just hop into her forward air. Gwen's forward air, it's a kick, she kicks the sword and lets it spin. So this forward air is actually really, really good. In terms of launch, it does not launch that far. It doesn't have really high launch, as you can see right there. But the fact that she could throw it from a full hop and fall down with it is very, very good because that means it covers a lot of space. You can also throw this forward air and fade back, or you could throw it and fade forward, as you can see right there. Forward air is very, very good for Gwen to have. And as you can see, it has a lot of end lag on it. But that end lag is fixed because it also has a grounded hitbox. And as you can see, the grounded hitbox doesn't have as much launch as the last hitbox. But the grounded hitbox leads to some good things. As you can see right there, the grounded hitbox leads to dash attack. At certain percentages, you can do things like land the grounded hitbox into command grab. It kind of sets up a really, really good situation because your opponent has to guess immediately. So, like, say you hit somebody and you hit the grounded hitbox. At that point, they have to choose to block. And if they block, you could just run up on them and command grab. Or they have to choose to jump. And if they choose to jump, you could just run up on them and forward air them again and, like, put them in a really bad situation. This forward air is very good. Also very good for edge guarding because as you can see right there, you just kind of fall with a really long lasting hitbox. And like I said before, Gwen's recovery is pretty good. So you can just kind of fall off. Oops. You can just kind of fall off and cover a lot of space with that forward air. And then the fact that, like I said, you can call out Meteor. Just being able to have so many hitboxes in such a bad situation is really hard for a lot of opponents to deal with. As you can see, you can just kind of like keep moving. So you can do like Meteor, stay back with forward air, Meteor, go forward with forward air. If Meteor hits you, a combo with combo into the forward air. You can knock opponents off stage, do Meteor, fall with forward air, and still make it back. It's just a lot of things and a lot of coverage for this forward air with the way it is. And like I say, if you hit the grounded hitbox, you get things like dash attack, or you can dash up on opponents, command, grab them into those kill setups that you do have. This forward air is really, really good. Very good. Uh, and you can always go for the landing hitbox. The landing hitbox is a lot harder to punish uh, because they have to wait till the ends to punish the landing hitbox. So like I say, forward air is very, very good. And you can space with this. So it's not like you have to be extremely close to the opponents, as you can see. So you get, like I said, you can always jump, fade forward with it, or jump and fade back with it. It just covers a lot, as you can see right here. It just covers a lot of space, which is understandable because it does not kill as hard, but it's a very, very good edge guarding tool, nonetheless. So we've talked about forward air. Let's talk about back air. Back air is just one big swing backwards. It's really, really hard. She could do two and a full hop, so you could like full hop back air, double jump back air, or you could do full hop back air, double jump back air, and it just hits really hard. This back air also, if spaced, is safe on shield, so you could do things like back air and opponent shield into side strong. Back air is a very very good move. It's also one of her kill moves. It doesn't kill as hard as like some of her specials. But at certain percentages, it will kill. And being able to throw this move out and have it be safe is very, very good. Because it has a lot of range. It's not like it's a really short 
like short range move like opponents really have to be ready to parry that last hit because if they're not they will take that back air another good thing about back air is that she combos into it from both back throw and from down b as you can see right there just very very good very good at building damage knocking opponents away building that damage keeping opponents scared oops that was neutral air not back air Keeping opponents scared and terrified, like I say, it's not one of her strongest kill moves. But at the end of the day, it is a kill move, and it does do some pretty good damage. Very, very good. Hits really hard, and it becomes even scarier at those percentages where she has rage. So now her moves are hitting harder and knocking further away. And as you can see right there, back air hits really low also. So having a back air like this that just hits really hard that she can also combo into is really good because if your opponents aren't expecting the back throw they get back throw in the back air which you'll see in a lot of matches and you can like just kind of steal kills from opponents or put them in really bad situations very very good back air to have you can also just kind of jump off stage and throw out back airs and swing them to like edge guard opponents very very good for her to have so we talked about back air Let's talk about up air. Up air is basically like a blast upward from her anti-gravity gauntlet. Very, very good if your opponent is like jumping a lot and you can like get a read on the opponents. So you can like, if they're in the sky, up air. Uh, I mainly use up air out of down B like that to get the confirm. It's very rare you'll see me like read a jump with up air. Because it takes a while to come out. Like, it doesn't come out immediately. It has some startup. That's why it hits so hard. But when you do land in up air, it does do really, really big damage. Has really good launch. A very, very good move to hit. Uh, another downside is up air actually does have a weak hitbox. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show off the weak hitbox. It happens from time to time. But up air is just very, very strong. And like I showed off with down special at like 100, you get kills with it from down special. Up air is really good. If you're going to read a jump from your opponent, you can just kind of jump at them in up air to see if it hits. If it doesn't hit, you're pretty much good. But up air is just very, very good to have to go along with the kill confirms and stuff that she does use and that you will be using a lot. Just very, very good. So we've talked about up air, back air. Let's talk about down air. So down air, Sophia just goes down with her sword. Big swing downwards. As you can see right there, she becomes a hitbox all the way down. And it's a hitbox that spikes all the way down. Also, if you do it on the stage, it has a landing hitbox. As you can see right there, the landing hitbox kind of like knocks Sophia upwards like that and if you hit opponents with it off the stage as you've seen before they just kind of go down and die so <laughs> so i know it's really crazy because a lot of gwens will like kind of go off stage to like basically just fall off stage and like down air and a lot of like uh enemies can't really do do much about it but it's a really hard hitting down air a free 20 percent you could down you could also down air out of down B for like a free 40%. Like I, I say free 40% like it's not anything big, but it actually is. Uh, so just being able to like down B like that is very, very good. At higher percentages, it actually does become like a kill confirm. So you can like down B into, oops, Sophia popped too high. But you can like down B into down air. I'm not getting it. Uh, the percents might be too high, but you could down B into down air to get those kills. Down air is just a really, really good move. And also add this move together with the fact that she could jump and throw out Meteor. That's just very good because your opponents have to run under Meteor to punish it. And once again, it's another one of those moves that you can combo out of Meteor in two. Very, very good move. If your opponents manage to get past Meteor, you can just jump back and down air and punish your opponents for like dashing past Meteor. Like I say, very, very good move. And if you do this move off stage, you become an active hitbox and you just kind of fall downwards and die. 
as you can see. It takes a while for the move to end, but does a lot of damage. Spikes really hard. She can combo into it from down B. As you can see right there for like a free 40%. I can't stress that enough because a free 40% is really, really crazy. And you can also throw it out on the edge of the stage to like catch opponents that are like jumping or trying to float back. And you basically can like spike them down with four free because you don't have to aim the spike hitbox. You just kind of jump and you down it. And if they jump into it or they up B past the ledge, they just kind of die because the spike on it does hit really hard. So we've talked about all of her aerials. Let's go into her grab. So Gwen, as you see, has three grabs from the down special and her normal grab. We've already talked about down special, let's, so let's talk about her normal grab. Reset the bot. So her forward throw is basically, basically a stage control throw. She basically throws the opponent forward, gets stage control from it. That's really just about it. Using this throw on the edge of the stage is really good because, as you can see, it pushes opponents very far out. Another big thing about this throw is that it does 19%, which is a lot for a throw. So not only does she have a forward command grab that she can combo into kills from, she has a forward throw that does basically like a standard 19%. For free, you can't really take too many of these. Like opponents that have throws, you could take a few of them because they only do like eight to like 12%. But taking 20, basically 20% from a throw every time she grabs you is really crazy because that means from five forward throws, you're at a hundred. Technically from four forward throws, you're at kill percent because she has kill confirms at 80. So this throw doing this much damage is actually really, really crazy for her. Like I say, she doesn't get combos from it because you can't move while the sword is active. But getting the 19% is good enough in itself. And as I said, like from four throws, from four throws, that was like four, you hit a down a down B and it's a side special and you can get a kill. From four throws, that's actually really crazy for a throw to do 19%. Very, very crazy. So if you like her four throw does that much damage, how about back throw? Back throw is a, I won't say a DI mix up because one thing you should know about Gwen's throws is you should always hold in towards Gwen when she throws you. Because if you hold out, back throw becomes a combo and throw. As you can see right there, back throw the back air. You can do things like back throw into dash attack. I've even seen some people like hit like back throw into like down B, which I thought was really crazy, but they managed to get it and it true combos. I can't get it, but I've seen it before. And Having back throw into back air just kind of like always work if your opponent DIs the wrong way at those like kill percentages. It's just a very, very good kill confirm. Now for this kill confirm to work, you have to short hop the back air. If you full hop the back air, you will miss because the launch on the back throw is really low. Let's see if I can get the back throw into, nope, can't get the down B. Um, but like I say, back throw into back air is really good. And like I say, you have to short hop the back air. If your opponent is DIing outwards, you want to mix it up with dash attack to cover the DI outwards. So if they DI in, you back air. And if they DI out, you dash attack. And you have to short hop the back air. You have to. Because opponents who are DIing, it'll be a lot harder to hit them with the full hop back air, as you can see right there. So you have to short hop it. That way you have that range from the mid hitbox of back air. You want to short hop it. So that'll do it for her throws. Let's talk about Gwen's combo game. So as I've shown, Gwen has a lot of combos. From basically her command grab, you can do like command grab into neutral air as a combo extender. Because as I said, you can combo from neutral air. At mid percentages, you can do things like command grab into side B for like kill confirms. At lower percentages, you can do things like falling neutral air into up tilt which combos into like neutral air into forward air at mid percentages once again you can do things like falling forward air into dash attack uh you can do things like let's see what's another good one at mid percentages neutral air into back air just she has like a lot of combos you just have to know those comboing moves and then like i say she will always have like down B into up air or down B into side B. You get combos from 
that throw at lower percentages from that throw the dash attack or even that throw into back air at lower percentages you get com combos from command grab as i've shown before like command grab it's a forward air or you can do things like command grab into neutral air into forward air or command grab into neutral air into back air and he can also combo from neutral special which is meteor so you can do things like meteor into side b you can do things like like that there we go meteor into side b which is very very good because if opponents get hit by meteor they get comboed into the side b you can do meteor into forward air so you can get the landing hit box and basically go for a reset basically kind of like this For like strings and stuff like that, your opponents have to, uh, win plays really fast, so your opponent has to think really fast. Just like I say, a very, very good character all around has a lot of comboing moves, and a lot of your combos will come at lower percentages, will come from like up tilt. Like I showed them, you could do like up tilt into neutral air. A lot of your combos will come from back throw with back throw into back air, back throw into dash attack, and then after that, your combos will come from down special which is the meteor so you can do like down special into forward air you can do down special into run under back air just you can do a lot from down special a lot of combos will come from down special now that i will be uh honest about and then even at higher percentages or at a lot of percentages you just do like meteor into side b for like other kill confirms so all around Gwen is a very very good character with a lot of comboing tools considering a lot of powerhouse characters don't have a lot of comboing tools so let's talk about neutral so a lot of Gwen so a lot of Gwen's I've fought play Gwen very differently a lot of people play her very grounded because she has a very good dash they play her very grounded and very grab heavy because like I say she has a combo and grab so when a character has a combo and grab a lot of people like to dash and go for parries so that they can get the uh basically confirms from that throw a lot of people play her very aerial heavy because her aerials are very good uh like i say a lot of them are like safe on shield you have to parry a lot of them to punish them and a lot of people play her like very jump heavy or very neutral or heavy uh the neutral all together with gwen basically means being this mid-range where you could threaten with meteor and your opponent has to get through meteor to get with uh, that's the one thing about Gwen. You don't want to get too aggressive. You want to force your opponent into situations, kind of force them to approach you, kind of force them to come, force them to get past Meteor and make those mistakes where you can take advantage. And basically, they can like slip up, get hit with Meteor, and you can side B them, or you can catch them running in to hit them with a side B. And when they're at those percentages, you want to pay, really pay attention to the percentages because a lot of people struggle with getting kills with Gwen. So when they're at like around those 80 percentile ranges, you want to go for that down B into side B confirmed. So even if you have to parry into down B or you have to get like a back throw into back air, you really want to pay attention to those kill percentages. And like I say, Gwen doesn't lose anything from being on the edge of the stage. A lot of characters struggle with like not having much stage. Gwen is actually pretty good because the area that Meteor covers is also covered by forward air, as you can see right there so it's a lot for them to get through it's very easy to put pressure on your opponents like this it's very easy to push them towards the edge of the stage and get like confirms and combos and then keep them on the lookout for the burst dash attack neutral with gwen is very very meteor heavy very meteor heavy you have to like i know it's i know it may sound annoying it may look annoying uh but you have to like use those meteors to your advantage because this is a projectile that you have it's a very good projectile and getting combos and confirms from this projectile is very very good very good meteor locks opponents into shield and it just kind of like forces them to respect you as a character so neutral will be very very meteor heavy very meteor heavy make opponents makes make opponents make mistakes punish them for coming in punish them for getting hit by meteor by hitting them with meteor into forward air or hitting them with meteor into like side b just very meteor heavy for the neutral very very good and if you get opponents off stage you want to go for those deep edge guards that she can go for with forward by just covering like space with forward air and also covering recoveries with her up b 
So that'll do it for Gwen. Gwen's a very, very cool character. I like her a lot. Like I say, I might be maining her over Thanatos simply because Thanatos' recovery is just like really bad. Hers is really good. It's not amazing, but it's very good to like keep up with like top tier opponents. And the fact that she has like so many different confirms that your opponent has to be on the lookout for. Her neutral can be played and adjusted in so many ways. She's just a very good character all around. So I will be playing her more. May actually, like I say, may actually be my new main. A very, very fun character from her down special to meteor to side B. Just all around, like I say, very, very fun to play and very, very fun to use. So that'll do it for the Gwen guy. Hopefully this helps because I know a lot of people said they were kind of struggling with trying to figure out how to get kills, trying to figure out how to play neutral. A lot of people didn't think she was that good because she struggles with getting kills, but she actually doesn't if you keep in mind the confirms and stuff that you do have. She actually builds a lot of damage for free and sets up for very easy wins and very easy KOs. So that'll do it for the Gwen guide. I'll catch you guys later. And like I always say, if it helps, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Or if you have any questions about the stickers, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm always down to talk about Flash Party. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.